Hi, I'm Brendan from So Cute Photo here in Monterey. Today we're gonna go over a couple different lighting styles. So we're gonna go over up lighting, we're gonna go over feathered lighting, and we're gonna go over window slash Rembrandt lighting. Okay, so this is up lighting. So when the light is going up the baby's nose, it's also called ghoul lighting. We wanna avoid it as much as possible. Um, the light, whenever I talk about where the light is, it's in relationship to the baby's face. So if the baby's face is turned, you want the angle to always be in relation to the baby's face. So right now, baby's face is this way and the light is going up the face. So we wanna avoid that. So let me, actually, let me take off the oh. Wee! Okay. So now, we're gonna move the light around. Daniel, can you actually just keep an eye on her? Yeah. Okay. Next, we're gonna talk about something called um, feathered light. And feathered light is when the light is actually in front of the baby's face and the light is skimming across it. So you can see in relation to the baby's face, this could probably even move more that way to feather, um, but we're gonna keep it just where it is, space reasons. Let me show you what that looks like. So if you like really shadowy um, photos, feathering is probably gonna be your favorite light angle. And then a lot of newborn photographers also basically put the baby in the light. So the light is literally gonna go as close as possible. So I almost want the middle of the head of the light to be on the same line as baby's head. The nice thing about this is even though it's gonna give you shadows, it's also gonna give you really soft light because of the size and closeness to the baby. Lower this just a little. So I really like this lighting setup when I shoot from the shadows, which means you're shooting from the angle that the shadows are. So since the light is on this side of her face, the shadows are gonna be on this side. So if I'm shooting from the shadows, I'm shooting from this side of her. So I would be shooting this way. Okay, but my favorite lighting setup is Sometimes you call it three-fourths lighting, window lighting, Rembrandt lighting. I want the light to fall across their face from the side. So I angle this this way. So her nose is here, the light's like this, and the light's gonna fall across her face this way. So baby's faces are pretty flat since they're still just, you know, a little baby. Um, so the best, part of their face to really pay attention to is their nose because it's sticking up the most and it'll make the most shadow. So you want the shadow of the nose to come off. For me, I like it on the side a little bit. So this is gonna be on the side. We're at like a 45. I'm gonna probably back this up just a little bit this way. There we go. So her head's here. This is at a 45 and let me show you what that looks like. This is still gonna be fairly shadowy.
And if you see me sticking my feet under the flicati, it's so I don't have to edit them out later. <laughs> there we go. And the lighting setup I use, I don't know, 90% of the time is 45 and I tilt the light. So what tilting the light does is it gives you more fill because I don't like really dark shadows. Um, so the more light is gonna fall across your face and fill in the shadows. So crank this guy and move this. You okay, little bean? Right there. So the tilt's gonna, we're still at a 45, we're still gonna get shadows, but it's gonna fall nicely across your face. here beautiful tuck my feet that way and then a little bit of an angle there we go so those are the different lighting setups. Um, I'll put examples in the video so you can see what those all look like in camera. So you can do all the same things with natural light slash window light. You just have to remember that your window is gonna be stationary, so you're gonna have to end up moving the baby. So if you like side feathered light, the window's gonna be here and you're gonna have to move the baby so the baby's head is pointing directly at the window and you're gonna want to get baby as close to your light source as possible the closer to the light source the softer the light and then you just have to angle so when I shot natural light like for the bean bag I had my bean bag at a 45 to the window so the windows here I'm looking at my bean bag I'm gonna have it this way so the light will fall down the nose but also wrap around a little bit so I get softer shadows Thank you so much for following along. And if you have any questions about lighting, whether it's natural, whether it's strobe, leave a comment down below. 